All right, moving on. According to uh, TMZ, the Grammys wanted to honor uh, and present Janet Jackson with the Global Impact Award at this year's ceremony, but CBS realized... They never made amends with Janet after her wardrobe malfunction at the 2004 Super Bowl halftime performance. Now, the Recording Academy wanted Janet to attend a pre-Grammy event with the Black Music Collective days before the main event to accept the award. But she was busy and her schedule wouldn't allow it. Now, from there, the discussions pivoted to a way where Janet would receive uh, the honor during the actual broadcast. But the network... They were like, oh, my bad. We realized we never uh, issued a formal apology to the pop star. Uh, what are your thoughts on this story? Uh, Vivica, let's start with you because they, they had all these conversations, but they forgot that they never issued an apology to her for how they did her. I hate when they conveniently like, oh, well, we forgot about. No, you didn't. You didn't forget. You waited to use that name for PR to say, oh, we could have, but we didn't. You know, listen, Janet Jackson will always be a legend in the African-American community. Everyone makes mistakes. Everyone, she owned up to it. She's moved forward. She's looking beautiful. She has residency. She's happier than ever. So, you know, I don't think she needed a little moment to still be Janet Jackson. That's right. Selena? Um, I agree with Vivica in terms of her being an icon and a legend in our eyes and really in the world's eyes. Janet Jackson is an icon across the board, all, all around the world. That is Michael Jackson's sister, and she is a star within her own right. She has gone diamond on just one album, which was the Control album, which is very, very hard to do. She's a multi-million record-selling uh, artist. So actually... She does deserve an apology from CBS. And, you know, I just feel like it's very double standard. When, when other people say things or go off the mark, we really get on them, the Kyrie Irvins, the Kevin Hart's. We really get on people to apologize and say stuff, the Will Smiths. Everybody that does something and makes a mistake, we really lean on them to apologize. But what about when the network makes a mistake? Shouldn't they be held accountable the same way? I just feel like they do owe her that apology because Justin Timberlake, they had him on CBS because he came to the office and apologized. So it wasn't her fault. She made it clear. She already said that she, you know, that it wasn't something that she had planned, but it just seems like they're purposely trying to do this tug of war thing. She deserves that honor regardless. And in my, just for just me personally, Janet, if I'm you girl, I wouldn't even want it ever from them because because mm. you don't because they don't deserve to be the platform to give it to you because right. they should have wanted to give it to you. They should have issued an apology and you should have it just based on your works and tenure in this business alone. All so right. I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed in CBS for their stance on this. Lisa, right? I think that, you know, just like you guys are saying, she's big enough star that she don't need the award. And I think that they needed her. I think that they needed a name then they forgot and then remember. So let's just see if they issue the apology anyway, because it's needed. Real quick, I'm just going to say this real quick. I've been watching, last night I was up late watching, they replay the Janet Jackson documentary and it's very, she talks about all of this. It's like a few parts. Would it kill y'all to give her the honor and maybe apologize at the event? I think that would be a perfect a, a way to, to honor her and do it in a very public way because she was ostracized. FCC complaints, all kinds of stuff. They, they yeah. almost ruined her career. People walked away from her. And Tyler Perry is the one who cast her in a movie and said, people don't want to be in the Janet Jackson business. I do. And put her back, but put her back, like was not afraid to, to work with her. So shout That's out to Tyler. him. That's right. Hey, Tyler. Okay. <laughs> all right, y'all. Stick around because after the break, we are talking to AJ Johnson. We love her. We'll be right Yay. back with more Cocktail of Queens after this. <laughs> 